In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your old ugly bookmarks and upgrade them to look more like this. Welcome to Mr. Cook's Corner, education for educators. If this is your first time watching, welcome aboard. This channel is all about helping teachers grow. If you like what you see today, please consider subscribing, liking our videos, and dropping us some comments. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at a website called Symbaloo. I'm gonna show you how to turn your internet bookmarks into clickable buttons that are attractive, easy to use, and a fantastic addition to your teacher website. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna type in Symbaloo.com. Once you go to the home page, you're gonna just click on sign up. You're gonna choose personal. Now here you've got two options. If you are using an EDU account through Google, you can click on Google. Your other option is just to type in an email address of your choosing and sign up the regular way. And then once you do that, you're in. When you first land on your home page, you're gonna see a web mix. And this is what a web mix is. It's just your grid full of links but they already pre-populate a few for you. You've got a home page, you've got an education page, and you've got some EDU games here. You don't have to use these. Personally, when I get my first Symbaloo up and going, I get rid of these other tabs because I'm not gonna be using them. And so what I do is I click on each tab, and up at the top, I'm just gonna click on the three dots, and I'm gonna click on remove. When you get down to one tab, you can't delete the last tab because you have to have one tab. We'll be able to delete this in a minute. We have to create our own tab first. So now we're gonna hit the plus button to make a web mix. And you're gonna give it a name. So all I'm gonna do is type in the name of my mix and I'm gonna hit add. And now you see I've got a nice, pretty blank grid. So some things that you might wanna do right off the bat, I see that I would wanna change the background, but there's some other things as well. So you're going to click on settings. And from there, you can see the options on the left. You can change the name at any time. You can change the wallpaper. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use a plain background, but you can see here, you can actually upload your own image and that can be the background for your web mix. One of the more important ones is the ability to resize the web mix. And when you turn that on, you'll see some arrows pop up and you can change the number of columns and rows. If you make it transparent, that means the tiles will be see-through. When you're done, you just click the X button and you're all set up. So now you can see I've got my blank web mix ready to go. And and all that's left to do next is to add in your links. Looking back at here, I see I've got four different categories that I wanna add. So I'm gonna do four corners. I'm gonna have a math corner, a science, and a social studies. So all you need to do is you need to click on the square, and then we're gonna start making the tile. So under create a tile, I'm gonna click the arrow, and I'm gonna paste the address. So all I did was I copied my first website, and I'm gonna paste it. And that's one of the cool things about Symbaloo, is that it automatically populates it with logos. If you come across a website that doesn't, you can go ahead and change that and make it set up just for you. The next thing is to to change the name on the tile, you can see that it cut off the last E because you can only have so many words. In this case, I just want to call it Splash Learn. And I do want to show the text. So I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to click show text. You can make the colors of the tile different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to categorize each subject with a different color. So for math, I'm going to use a blue and you can see it's changed the background. Down below, I can also change the icon and it looks like with Splash Learn, I've got two different choices. In this case for me, I do like the icon. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as that. But whenever you're done, you just hit save and there there you go. You've got your very first tile all set up. So I did my first set of four and you can kind of tell the difference right off the bat with some of these icons that have their title in the logo. For this one, for Splash Learn, remember we just chose the icon itself and I typed in a text for it and I chose to show the text. For Prodigy, I can definitely see what it is and for First to Math, I can see what it is, but you may want to look at the icon to determine. So this one says Math Game Time and I'm not so sure that I can see that. So if I want to make a change, all I have to do is hover over it and right click and edit it and then I can go back in and make the changes that I want. In this case, I definitely want to show the text and you can see the difference that math game time pops up a lot better hit save and you're updated let me go ahead and fill in the rest of these categories so while this guy's figuring that bit out I have a quick question for you guys what are some of your pain points as educators what are you struggling with what do you need help with post in the comments section below we look forward to hearing from you now let's get back to the action and voila you have got a finished web mix board I've got spaces to add others I've got them divided into four different categories students will be able to easily tell where to look and what they're looking at. So another neat feature that I want to share with you guys is you can add tiles through a search. You can look for relevant content and websites to put to your web mix. So let's say I want to add a math tile through search. I'm just going to click like I have done before on add a new tile, but this time instead of create a tile, I'm going to click on search a tile and I'm just going to type in math. And as soon as I do, you can see there's tons of math things to choose from here. And all I'm going to do is just click on it and it puts it right in there. Now it's not the same color, so I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to edit it and I'm going to change that 
tile to the color that I'm using. I can't see it saying cool math very well, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on show text. I'm gonna hit save, and boom. It's the same as the others, and it's another tile that I just found by searching. If at any point you don't want a tile, same thing. You just right click on the tile, and you just hit delete. The last thing I wanna do on this web mix is right here in the middle. I don't want my kids having an open Google search box. I do wanna give them the ability to search, and Symbaloo has embedded something called a safe search. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on your little icon in the top right corner, and you wanna go down to preferences. And then right here in the middle, choose a center box. Now right now it says Bing, Google, Yahoo. But if I click on other options, and under search, I'm gonna do safe search by Symbaloo. And after I've saved my settings, I'm just gonna click back on Symbaloo, and you can see that I have a safe search all set up right in the middle. So now I have a finished, ready to go web mix. And now all I need to do is share it with my kids. The sharing option is right here in the center next to settings. When you click on it, you have a few options. You can give it a web mix name, you can give it a description, and here you're gonna be able to make sure it's either public or private. So if it's public, it's available in the gallery, and that means other people can search it. I actually like it because you can search other people's web mixes, other educators, and you could find some really nice web mixes to use, but you can make it private to where only students can find it. But when you're done, all you have to do is hit share my web mix, and now it's active. From here, there's two ways that you can do this. You can either copy the link via email. If you paste it into a new tab, here's what you're gonna see. It says Mr. Cook's Quarter. It's got the web mix right here. And so as long as you have this link, students can click on it and it'll take you right here. You can put it out in your newsletters or you can just send it directly to students via email. However, the second way to share it is the most interesting one. You want to be able to embed this into your actual classroom website. So instead of sharing via email, you're gonna click on embed code. So when you get here, you wanna click on background color. If I don't use this background color, instead of having what I've chosen back here, it's just gonna show up as a plain gray. For this instance, I'm just gonna choose a green. From here, all we do is copy the code. So for this particular example, I'm just gonna use a Google site. It's free, it's easy to use. However, this works for any other website that you may be using, like a Weebly or a Blogspot. The process is the same. So what you wanna look for is a spot to do embed. You click on embed, and instead of the URL, you're gonna click on code. You're gonna paste it. Once you've inserted it in your site, you can go ahead and size it and line it up just how you like it. And once you've published it, this is what it's gonna look like. It's embedded right in the center of your website. You can use the search bar in the middle. You can click on links and they'll pop right up. You've got a fully functional web mix ready to go. And that, my friends, is how you make a Symbaloo web mix. What if I told you you could use this website to design a customizable learning experience for your students? They can, and it's called a learning pathway. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. If you like what you saw today, please consider subscribing, liking our videos, and posting comments down below. You can also find us all over social media. Just look up Mr. Cook's Corner, and you'll be sure to find us. In the meantime, don't forget about extra videos that you can find right here. We've got tons of content ready for you. See you next time on Mr. Cook's Corner. Bye.